With the forces of Tokugawa Ayasu facing the followers of the Toyotomi regime, the Battle of Sekigahara began in earnest. After all movement is complete, combat occurs in one location at a time with all opposing blocks present. Each card may deploy a single block. Cards with matching symbols may deploy more blocks. The exception is the Lee and Ishida block which can be deployed with any card. Double cards allow for deployment of two blocks. The exception is when a Lee or Ishida block is deployed as no second block may be deployed in that turn. Battles in the open start with the active player deploying their forces. The winner is determined by which side delivers the most impacts. Leaders and blocks may be deployed without a card, if no deployments have been made with a card. Loyalty challenges cannot occur with leaders who deployed without a card. Impacts are determined by the number of mon on each block, a bonus of plus one for each block of the same daimyo that is already deployed. Special attacks are conducted with cards that have swords used to deploy cavalry or gun blocks. Add two impact for blocks with cavalry or guns and two more for each block already deployed with the same symbol. The side with a lower impact score will have the initiative in the battle. If tied, the defender has the initiative. Once the player with initiative is declared, they will not or cannot deploy any more blocks. However, they may still play loyalty challenge cards. The battle is over when the opposing player declares they are no longer deploying blocks. Once the non-initiative player is through deploying, a loyalty challenge may be made. If the player can show another card from their hand capable of deploying that block, then the block remains loyal. If not, then the block changes size. There are no attachment bonuses for this type of defection. After the battle, the blocks return to their former owners. For double cards, only a single card is needed to refute a challenge. If unable to refute, then both blocks change sides. You lose one block per seven impact with the numbers rounded down. If your side loses, one more block is removed. The order of losses starts with the attacker first, then the defender. The order proceeds to blocks that defected, blocks that were deployed, and blocks that were undeployed. All lost blocks are removed from the game. The remaining blocks of the loser must retreat to an adjacent location. The size penalty does not apply to this type of movement. The attacker must retreat to where at least some of the blocks came from. If not possible, then another suitable location. The defender must retreat to the location where the enemy did not come from and where no enemy units are present. This includes entering a castle. Only two blocks may be inside a castle, and that does not include disc. If the active player owns the castle and stays inside, no battle or siege takes place this phase. The attacker holds the initiative and the defender cannot play cards or deploy blocks. The attacker deploys, the impact is calculated, the defender chooses their losses. If all the castle blocks and disc are gone, the attacker wins. If there are at least one block or disc remaining, the castle is besieged. This requires the attacker to declare combat at that location every combat phase until resolved. The defender draws one card for every block lost. No gun or cavalry attack or loyalty challenges may be made. Those inside the castle stay inside. The attackers may move their blocks normally. The Battle of Sekigahara was not decided by movement or even combat but rather the loyalty of several daimyos on the Toyotomi forces which switched sides at a crucial moment. That switch decided the fate of Japan for the next nearly three centuries. Mm -hmm.